What's going on, everybody? Adrian, the A from the AM Hookah Podcast, here for Wednesday's new produced content slot that we're doing for you guys. You may have saw, we talked about on the AM Hookah Podcast before, that we're changing things up for Season 4. Matt's already got two reviews dropped, and the produced content doesn't necessarily mean or they're going to be reviews, but they are going to be some type of content that we record edit and then give to you guys after it's gone through the production process which means it's going to be hopefully slightly more refined than a live video that said just this last monday we had mr by last monday i mean literally two days ago so this monday we had basim from over at let me see nirvana super shisha nirvana eclipse and othmani and we are reviewing othmani if you didn't look at the title of the video or the thumbnail so we had him on, we talked about some of his flavors, we had a lot of good conversation about not just the hookah industry, hookah expo worldwide, and his brand, but just a lot of things that go into like what it means to smoke hookah. I would definitely recommend checking out that episode if you haven't already. That said, this is my first time doing a produced video for this channel. You guys are usually used to seeing me sitting right next to Matt, doing some stuff, talking, maybe you've seen technical difficulties, which is a show that's going to be happening on this channel. Two days from now, this Friday, I will be producing a technical difficulties. It's going to be rotating with Matt's Gamecast, just so everyone knows. This flavor review is going to be on Turkish coffee by Athmani, which is, um, for people who don't know, Turkish coffee is a very specific type of coffee, and uh, a lot of Middle Easterners will drink this coffee, and I think that it probably is supposed to translate pretty well into a hookah tobacco flavor. We'll be looking into that really quick for any of you guys who are familiar with Pipe Dream Hookah. The way I typically do reviews is I will go over a line, say, Othmani is one of like the uh, medwa.com, one of Basim's many different lines of shisha tobacco. I won't typically go over things like the cut or how to pack it in the review videos themselves, and that's mainly because they're all going to basically be cut and packed the same way as long as each flavor is from that same line. So I'm going to kind of treat it the same way here. I'm not exactly sure if I'm going to be releasing like a pack method with like an overview on the tobacco leaf quality itself, especially since this particular one is gone, which hopefully doesn't tell you too much about what I'm going to say about the flavor. Um, but f for now, I'm going to stick to what I do over on my other channel, which is Pipe Dream Hookah, which is this. We're going to review this flavor based on the scent the flavor, the cloud output of this tobacco, as well as a few other varying factors towards the end of the video. And then I do like to rate it on Pipe Dream Hookah. However, this channel, I want to handle things a little bit differently. So I'm just going to give you an overview of what I think of this flavor and whether or not I might want to buy it. But I don't want to put too much, I don't want to do things like put ratings in people's heads on this channel because I'm not sure if that's the direction we're going yet. Learning growing pains. Anyway, let's go ahead and start with the setup. White matte pair, Neo Lux base, matching hose. Uh, what's this? This is going to be the uh, some type of some type of mouth tip. I can't remember who makes this one. And then on top, I'm going to have a Bambino bowl with three, you guessed it, prestige jumbo flats. Why? AM Hookah, proud sponsor. Not that they necessarily sponsor this content, but since they're so nice about sending us product for the podcast, I figured we'd just use that here too. Anyway, now that you know what the setup is, what the tobacco is, all that good stuff, let's start by... Typically, we'd smell the tobacco. This is technically out, although I do have the bag within a bag, and I should probably go grab that, just so I can give you an idea of the scent. It's gonna taste like it smells, one second. So, as you can see, I've smoked through pretty much all of this, and I'm not even, I'm embarrassed to say how fast I smoked through all of this, but the scent is outstanding. Um, it's kind of hard to pinpoint exactly what you're getting, especially having talked to Basim because I know about some of the profiles that are in here. I probably should have shot this review before I interview with him. But you're definitely going to get some strong coffee notes. That's going to be the primary thing in the scent that you're going to pick up on, strong coffee notes. And this is kind of weird to say because I heard him say this already and I know it's in here for a fact. However, there's definitely notes of cardamom in here, which I probably could have guessed. That's a very common thing to put in different coffee flavors in general, not just tobaccos, and a lot of my favorite coffee shishi tobaccos definitely have cardamom. I'm going to try my best not to compare this too much to Morning Glory, but the scent on this is not on like Morning Glory. To me, it's slightly less creamy, and it, Trifecta doesn't have a taste motif necessarily, but the scent of the tobacco, for some reason, I can usually tell that like, this is Trifecta. I don't know why. Could be some Fugazi mind trick I'm playing on myself. That said, scent, mostly coffee. I'll hopefully be able to dissect the flavor profile more when I'm actually tasting it. Let's check out the clouds that the stuff can produce. It 
Is anybody surprised? Because you really shouldn't be. Most modern shish tobaccos can produce good clouds, whether they're honey-based or molasses-based. In this case, I do need to double check. I'm fairly certain that this is honey-based, but I could be totally off. So let me take a look. Tobacco, honey, and glycerin. So this is a honey-based tobacco. Both honey and molasses mixed with glycerin should produce pretty good clouds unless that company is missing the mark. So there's that, I guess. Let's move on to the flavor profile. And on my other channel, I like to do it based on the inhale and the exhale profile because they usually differ slightly from one another. And since I'm already taking time to sit down and like do a video review for people, maybe it's a good idea if I just take the extra 30 seconds and explain the whole flavor profile starting on the inhale. Okay, so on the inhale, the flavor is exactly what it smells like. It's going to be a coffee flavor. It's going to be a sweet coffee flavor. It's definitely not like a black coffee. It comes across as some type of a creamed coffee. It's not very dark tasting, so if you're used to something like Trifecta's Morning Glory, it's not quite that dark, and the spices do come through. It's hard to pick out individual spices, but if I could say one spice name that comes through pretty clearly, if you're aware of what the flavor profile is, it's, it's going to be cardamom. If you've ever had a, I can't remember the name of the haze flavor, but there's a haze flavor with a crap load of carnival. I think it's a Carnival Nights. It's a heavy carnival flavor. If you've ever had that, you know what carnival translates to and a hookah tobacco flavor. And that comes through pretty clearly on the inhale. Uh, other than that, it's going to be mostly that creamed coffee flavor. As far as like a Turkish coffee, most people haven't had Turkish coffee in their life. I've only had it a handful of times. There's a texture thing going on with Turkish coffee that's going to be very hard to replicate in hookah tobacco, so I can't speak too much on that, but a pretty strong pungent coffee flavor on the inhale with some cardamom notes. Let's check out the flavor on the exhale. Alright, so the flavor profile on the exhale is something happens that's pretty typical of most shisha tobaccos when you're exhaling the flavor and that's any cream notes that are present are going to be much more pronounced on the exhale. They're going to coat the palate entirely and you're really going to feel it kind of on the back of your tongue. It's going to be mostly a sensation, but there is some cream flavoring here for sure. The cardamom dies down a little bit, but it's still a very coffee forward flavor, if that makes any sense. And it's going to be very sweet as well. So the exhale doesn't change very much, just more emphasis on the cream and the flavor profile remains mostly unchanged. Now a few other things before we kind of wrap this review up. Othmani, a lot of people already know that Othmani is made by the same people who do Nirvana Super Shisha and the uh, Nirvana Eclipse, which use Doha or Doka, I'm not really sure exactly how it's pronounced. That's not present in the Othmani, so it's going to have a different like, characteristic to the way it hits you. It's not going to be quite as strong, which I think is good because it's going to appeal to a wider audience, more likely. Probably more casual hookah smokers than people who like smoke a lot of Tangiers or something, for instance. So that's I think a good thing that they're offering that variety, but just keep that in mind if you are looking for something as strong as like something from Nirvana's Super Shisha line or the Eclipse line. And then just a few other like checkpoints I want to hit. How well does it take heat? Outstanding. I actually, to get the clouds that I wanted and the flavor I wanted, I dropped the Provos down on all the way instead of having the lid crooked, and it is not burning at all. The flavor is outstanding. How long does it burn for? A long time actually. This is Bambino Bowl, which is a fairly small bowl. I would say I've got about 14 grams of the stuff packed up max and it's probably going to burn for a solid hour and 45 minutes. It's going to take two rounds of flats. Easy. Not going to be a problem at all. And then flavor potency, I just want to reiterate that it is very high. This is a very strong coffee flavor. I'm not going to rate this stuff. Let me know if you guys want to see this stuff rated. I don't know if that's the way to handle it on this channel or not. This feels alien because I have to handle this slightly differently than I do over on Pipe Dream Hookah, which might end up being a good thing. But if I had to tell you, would I pick it up? If you're someone that's into coffee flavors, grab this immediately. It's an outstanding flavor. Right now, like as of the time this video is dropped, all the way to the end of this month, there's something called Double Doka Days over on Medwa.com. I'll try to leave a link to that in the description. They're doing a buy one, get one free sale over there, and I would recommend picking up this exact flavor. Also, they do have Nirvana Eclipse and Nirvana Super Shisha in stock. And then if you guys would like to see things like the uh, cut of the tobacco and how I pack it and stuff included in the video, like each video review I do on a flavor, let me know in the comments or just like most of you guys who watch the podcast can contact me directly. Just let me know like, hey, give us all the information. Otherwise, I probably will be doing the, okay, here's like three or four Othmani flavors and here's a separate video on how to pack it with the cuts like what you can expect there. And then other than that... Come check us out this Friday, which is going to date this video of me saying this, but technical difficulties, I'm going to be doing a technical difficulties on an Eclipse flavor, 
for a lot of people don't know how to pack Nirvana Eclipse yet, so that's going to be a pretty cool one. And then obviously, look forward to next Monday. It's going to be the, we only have two more podcasts until Hookah Expo Worldwide. And this next Monday, we're going to have Hookah John on, talking about all stuff Hookah John and all stuff Hookah Expo Worldwide at number three. Also come to Hookah Expo Worldwide. If you're not convinced yet, watch that podcast. We're going to try to convince you. Other than that, that's going to just about do it for this video review on off my Turkish coffee. Thank you guys so much for watching, and as always, happy smoking. <laughs>